Uh, sorry guys, there's just been a connection problem. We lost the connection, but uh, also we were, the, we were at the end of the, uh, our live session. We'll, ju we'll uh, wait just for five minutes. Yeah, sorry guys, there's just been a connection problem. And I lost connection for the live session. And we were on the uh, questions part. You can ask any questions related to your medical career, related to your observership positions, research positions, medical researches, have to do uh, those kind of things, how to be abroad during your medical faculty, or how to give USMLE exams, or uh, how to be in my clinic. I also I explained how I be in my clinic. So we can continue with uh, the question part. I can have your questions related to your medical careers, yes. Sorry for the uh, internet connection, I just lost the connection and I just came back. And I'm, I'm waiting for your questions. I can have your questions, guys. We are going to be online 15 more minutes, so I can have uh, some questions. If you have questions or you can... Uh, just finish the live session if you don't have any questions. So I'm waiting a little bit more for the questions. Do not hesitate to ask any of the questions. Dr. Whittleson Peregrino, how old are you? I'm 23 years old. I'm just at the uh, final year in my medical faculty. Dr. Shashank Somani explain retina and uh, maybe in uh, another live session we can explain retina. <laughs> yes, uh, this is the questions part, questions and answers part for the ones who just attended us, attended to our live session. What about after clearing USMLE? We were given choice for place of working in the United States. Dr. Shivander Shekawat. Welcome, Dr. Shekawat, and thank you for your question. After completing your USMLE exams and all the parts of the, all the steps of your exam, you are applying for matches. And when you are taking your place in the United States as a resident in some of the hospitals, for example, if you want to choose surgery, uh, there are some PGY1 positions. First of all, you cannot start with neurological surgery, but you can start with general surgery, PGY1 position with one year, then you can change your position to neurosurgery, then you can specialize in neurosurgery. Hi, Dr. Nok Norimon, welcome. Hi, Doan Yildiz, welcome to our live session. When you become a, a resident in the United States, there is just one more step remained. Step three. Step three is for the rules of American United States uh, health care system. It's an easy exam, five, around 500 questions, and you can pass it in one year, so it's all done. You are a resident of the United States. Dr. Orendlik, welcome. Thank you for the quiz question. How should we study USMLE? Uh, it's, it's a complicated question. That's how uh, should you study USMLE? For example, uh, we have some special books. Uh, there is not allowed to give the names of the books now, but you're getting your books and uh, start studying. Also, there are some specific websites that you can choose. You can uh, solve the questions. You can assess yourself, and uh, every day, seven to eight hours a day, and five to six days in a week, you should study with. Step one, I'm telling you. Dr. Sheikma Bayram, uh, why USA? Why, what about uh, UK? What do you think? So, why USA? Uh, it, it's a personal question. For example, I want to live in the United States and uh, I want to be a neurosurgeon in the United States. It depends on you. It, it's a personal question. Of course, you can be a resident in the United Kingdom. There is some different exams named, named as PLAP, PLAP exams. 
you need to take this plot by these exams that you can go to United Kingdom. Afterwards, you can go to United Kingdom. You look young. How old are you, Dr. Widdleston Peregrino? Uh, thank you. I'm 23 years old. I'm in the last year of my medical faculty. And thank you. It's uh, always been better to look young. Thanks. Uh, are you a Barcelona supporter? Uh, guys, these are the pictures uh, that I bought from the countries that I visited. Uh, I've been in four continents, 34 countries around the world uh, during my studies, during my researches. Uh, these are my memories from the countries that I bought. So, Dr. Masis Malhasyan, do we need a TOEFL or an IELTS certification? No, for USMLE you don't need any TOEFL examination or you don't need any language certification because during the clinical skills examination, it's a live examination, you know, they're having uh, around 12 patients to you and those patients are uh, giving points to your language skills also. So you don't need to give, uh, you don't need to take any TOEFL examinations. Dr. Fatma, you them, Dr. Hamas Sohali, how much time you read every day? It, de it depends on your time schedule, guys. For example, when you take your uh, night shifts, when you don't have time, you can study just two hours, three hours, but when you're free, I highly recommend you to study seven to eight hours. Dr. Hamas Sohail, after doing specialization, is it necessary to pass USMLE or we can do job without passing USMLE? No, you cannot do any job uh, without USMLE in United States. Just you can be a research uh, assistant, but they don't pay you any salary. Or you can apply for PhD positions in the United States without USMLE exams. But you cannot be a resident in the United States without USMLE examination. Hi, Dr. Uh, Fatma Edem. Can you talk about first year medicine? Yes, I'll give some ex uh, information. Harut Tamai Linam. I'm a nurse from Thailand. Uh, hi, Thailand. Welcome. Yes, can you recommend any free scholarship programs for medical students? Dr. Wittelson Peregrino. Uh, it's quite a difficult question and good question. So you should search for some private scholarships and it depends on the country that you live in. Every country has uh, different and their kind of uh, scholarship programs. So you should search in your country. Uh, I think you're from Italy and I don't know actually. For, for Dr. Mohamed Atik, what are the strategies I can follow to memorize the hard part of med book? Uh, every medical doctor, as I say, has their own study style. For example, I write down the things I memorize. For example, for a pathology book, I have a special notebook of myself for the memorized things by me. And I'm writing down the memorized things. And when I try back to repeat to the pathology book, I'm uh, also checking my notebook and taking a look to my own notes. Did you click your assembly, Dr. Amrut Reddy Alu? Uh, in 2018, I'll be giving, uh, I'll be taking the step one exam. Uh, nowadays, I'm still studying. Uh, yes. I have missed now what are you doing? Uh, I'm in my last year in my medical faculty. I'm an intern doctor, and hopefully, in nine to ten months, I will be graduated. What were the times you were in Germany? And what can you tell me about becoming a cardiac surgeon in Germany besides the language and the grades? What are the Germans wanting to see in a student that applies at their hospital? Dr. Emilia Eleonore. Very good question. Thanks you. Thank you. Uh, I've been in Berlin once, Hannover once, Munich once and Cologne once. So German people, as you all know, is Apart from your language certificate and apart from your grade, you will be at the hospital on time. It's really important. It's not a joke. One day, I was late to the hospital like two minutes. Just two minutes. And my professor has shouted at me when I was in Germany. I, I won't give the name, but uh, you should be so disciplined and you should work so hard also in Germany. So they're like hardworking, hardworking people. Like pets, do you advise to give up? 
Uh, good question. If you didn't like medical school, of course you cannot do, you cannot finish the medical school. I don't advise to give up. I advise to uh, try to convince yourself back in medical studies because I think this is the most uh, beautiful job in the world. Yes. Dr. Ryan Maher Judeh. I'm a third year medical student. How can support and strengthen my CV for USMLE? Uh, I told you, try to find some research positions, try to find some observership positions by choosing a country, choosing a specialization, choosing a professor, and try to contact with the professor. It always starts like that. And send as many emails as possible to the hospitals that you want to work in. And you should grow your writing articles, start doing, uh, start doing some uh, internships in laboratories. Dr. John Demirda, have you any opinion that got to clinic in USA during the expertise in Turkey? Yes, Dr. John Demirda, Demirda uh, during the expertise in Turkey, of course, go to United States, but need some special permissions from your department and the chef of the department. Hi, Dr. Kop, Latapon Papanti. Welcome, Dr. Shema Bayram. What do you think about writing a review article? It's also important for a CV, of course, and you will all be needing those review articles for being a resident, being a consultant, or being an associate professor. First of all, you should find a mentor. In, for example, your mentor should be in your country or in your hospital that every day you can go to him or her and you can ask for their opinions and you can ask for their supports. It's really important to write a review article. Try to start from some point and don't give up. Do Germany have any kind of test like USME? No, they don't. You just apply for some companies. Those companies uh, got 10% uh, of your salary a, a year but they put you in a position but you need to have a language certificate. Dr. Wilson Peregrino, do you have to know everything you study as a doctor? Do you have to know everything you study as a doctor? Uh, you do not know everything of course but uh, you should be memorizing as much as possible uh, for example when a patient comes to you, you cannot say that I didn't study that part from the book. <laughs> okay guys, uh, we are coming at the end of our session. Masis Malhasyan, what if you just can't find a mentor? What are your chances? Keep trying your chances guys. Keep following the pages of the subspecialities that you want to specialize in. Try to attend their conferences. Try to go and uh, speak with the doctors and professors. Try to have their contacts. Who knows? Maybe someday one of them will support you and one of them will be your mentor. For example, Professor Sami is my mentor now. And this week, World Federation of Neurological Surgeries World Conference is held in Turkey. In Istanbul, Istanbul, Turkey, and uh, during 20th and 25th of uh, August, and I will be attending those congress too. Where did you study, and where are you now, Dr. Rojin M.B.? I studied in Istanbul University, Jarapasha Medical Faculty, and simultaneously I'm in Istanbul now too. But I visited uh, different countries, like 24 countries in four continents, and uh, I placed in five different positions in different countries. Which hospital do you recommend in the U.S. and why? Uh, Susan Gai Shitpek Bakerji. In the United States, you should uh, look for the U.S. best nation rankings, nation's best rankings. Of course, I'm highly recommending Medclinic, highly recommending Harvard, highly recommending uh, the Brigham Women's Hospital, Cleveland Clinic, Stanford Medicine, UCLA, UCSF. Ryan Mother Jude, how can we write articles? The steps I mean, especially in pre-graduate years. 
Uh, yeah. To learn how to write articles, for example, EndNote program. You can just search in the Google and download the EndNote program. It so it is so helpful to write some case reports, uh, especially during the uh, arranging the part of references. Hello, Dr. Rados Pumbich. Welcome. Try to contact with a professor from your ho own hospital who has written some Go to his or her office and ask her that. I want to write an article, can you please teach me? Start like that, guys. They will give you some articles more and start with reading articles. Article reading is also important. Start with reading articles and uh, you can find some case support uh, case supports for example case support examples uh, for example in journal of neurosurgery you can find some support examples or you can just uh, also use my template in, uh, in PubMed we published our article occult isolated brain cyst of lateral plantar nerve which published in journal of foot and ankle surgery it will be helpful for you can you inform about transfer marmor to Ajit University um, Türkçe söyleyeyim, Dr. Fuat Mayır'dan e, yatay geçiş programlarına e, başvurmanız gerekmekte. Dr. Cansu Tol, what do you recommend a third grade student who has done almost nothing for a good CV but wants to start something? Yeah, I also uh, talked about this, already talked about this. You are a third grade student but you, you did nothing yet. It's not important. You can still start from some point. It's August 2017. Make yourself a timetable, make yourself a program, choose a specialty and start searching and start sending emails. You are not late. Hello Dr. Shan Zimik. Yeah, Medibear. When to apply for visa before taking your SMLE one or after? Yeah, it depends. For example, um, my friends who has taken step one already. Uh, they are taking the step one in July, but they are applying for visa in uh, January, for example. It also depends on the countries. And the fees for your assembly, your assembly step one has like 1200 United States dollars. Yes, I know it's high, but uh, we can do nothing about that. Yes, guys, we are at the end of uh, our session. I would like to thank you who joined us and want to tell you that if you want to uh, ask any further questions or if you want to see any further details or you need to uh, talk to me about any analyzed questions for my advices, you can just visit my Facebook page and ask your questions, Curly Duck says, and you can just uh, go to the Instagram and uh, search with my, my name and you can find me and send your questions. My name is Kuan Chiang. Thank you all, thank you who's attending, and bye-bye.